Hi everyone, Tasha here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create a summer picnic themed card using items from the August Hedgehog Hollow Kit. I'm going to be using a piece of pattern paper from the At The Picnic paper collection and I decided to go with this blue plaid design to go with the picnic theme. I'll also be using white cardstock and yellow cardstock and a white card base. The stamp sets I'm going to be using is Hot Off the Grill, which is included in this kit, along with the larger Grillin' and Chillin' set. This one's really fun because it has so many different images and it also includes sentiments. Lastly, I'll also be um, using some ephemera from the Picnic Time ephemera set and I'm using this little grill along with two other pieces. We're going to start by stamping. I wanted to create a decorative background so I'm using my little stamp block and then the ketchup and mustard stamps. I'm going to be using telephone box which is a really pretty deep red color and then English mustard and these are both from Maker Forte. I'm starting with the ketchup and I'm just going to randomly place the ketchup stamp around my cardstock, just kind of spacing it out to allow room for the little mustard to also be included on this background. So I'm just kind of placing it, turning, making the design all different ways so it looks real random. And then I'm going in with the pretty English mustard. This color is such a pretty shade of yellow. It doesn't pick up as dark as it is in person, but it is a really kind of a deeper yellow tone. And then again, I just turned my paper to make sure the areas were filled in. And then I just kind of rotated between the two colors. Once I was done, I went in with some Distress Oxide in the color Antique Linen and went around the edges. I wanted to take away some of the bright white and I just blended everything from the edge towards the center. It did smear a little bit of the ink colors, but I do like how it, I do like how it looks. It's, it's a little bit more vintagey and I like that it's not so bright. To add a little more detail to those open spaces, I went in with three shades of Copic markers and just added some dots. It kind of looks like the ketchup and mustard kind of just went all over the place, but I like the way it looks and again, it filled in those areas. And once it was done, it looks like this. After I was done creating the background, I wanted to stamp my greeting right away. Again, this kit includes a whole stamp set full of greetings and I'm using the BBQ Artist sentiment. I thought it was really fun, especially since we made that really cool background. I'm using that same telephone box red ink and I did stamp it several times just to make sure it was nice and dark. Once I was done stamping, I took it over to my paper trimmer and I'm just going to trim it down to size. This would also look great if you wanted to create a simple banner or have it even stamped and make the same type of background design, but also add in one of the sentiment stamps. And here's how it looks. Now it's time to assemble our card. These cards are super quick to make and the best part is you can make a whole bunch at one time. I'm using some glue runner to attach that cool background card we created to a yellow piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to attach the plaid pattern paper to the coordinating yellow cardstock. This way both of those layers that I matted our patterns onto coordinate with each other. After that, I'm going to attach the card directly to a white heavyweight card base. And the paper for the white card base is from Maker Forte. It's really nice because it's bright white and it's really sturdy. Next to attach that center card, I'm using some foam tape. You could also just glue it directly onto that plaid paper, or you could cut extra cardstock layers to get the same look. Now I'm just going to position it right in the center. This time it was pretty easy to do the layering since those plaid, um, that plaid pattern has the lines, you can line it up. 
To attach my little ephemera piece, I'm using again some bone tape and I'm just going to attach the grill directly to the center of the card. I love that there's such a nice variety of pieces to choose from so that this way when you make your cards, each one looks different. Once I have that in place, I decided to add this little spatula or um, little, yeah, grill spatula and I'm just kind of positioning it. Then I'm using the same glue runner to attach the spatula and then the mustard. I wanted to kind of stick with that ketchup and mustard grill theme. Lastly, I'm using the same glue runner and I'm just going to attach my little grating to the bottom of the card. And here it is, our nice quick picnic or grill themed card. Finishing touches, I just included um, a little bit of detail using my white gel pen. I did the same thing on my first sample card as well. Just added a couple dots to the little ephemera pieces and to the ketchup and mustard bottles that I stamped. Just to, again, give them a little more detail. And here's just a close-up of the completed card. And here is my sample card. They're both very similar, but again, they use different ephemera pieces and different um, sentiments. I hope you enjoyed today's project, and all of the details will be listed below. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.